How do you send a calendar invite in Gmail? Let's take a look at that. First, we need to pull open our calendar. Now, usually on the right-hand side, you're going to see this little calendar icon right here. So you could click on that and we could pull it open there. The other way that you can do it is to go to calendar.google.com. I'm going to go ahead and click on this calendar and it's going to show me one day. So I'm just going to pop it open in a new tab by clicking this button here. And you can see at the top, it goes to calendar.google.com. So you could just go there as well. Now, if you're going to set up a meeting, we can do that. Maybe I'm just going to set up a meeting for next Wednesday, the 23rd. So I'm going to click on that day, and it's going to pop open with the option to set up a new event. You can set up an event or set up a task. In this case, a meeting would be event. I'm just going to call it meeting. And another thing that you can do here is expand this open so you can see all of your options down here at the bottom next to save click on more options and it's going to expand this meeting invite to your whole page so that you can really fill out everything and see everything all at once so in the upper left we have a title we said it's on october 23rd you can check that it's all day it probably isn't so you can uncheck that and give it a very specific time and say that it doesn't repeat and then fill in the event details inside of event details you have location, you can set up notifications. Some of these are for yourself, like this flippy fin area here. That's the name of my Gmail. And so you could set up that, uh, you know, you're busy on your calendar. And if your calendar is public, you can adjust the visibility of this specific meeting, maybe call it private. So it will just say busy versus public, which would say what the meeting is. And then we can add a description down here. Now the description is one place where it kind of is like an email. You can also email separately the invite. Uh, so you could just put in down here, maybe the meeting details, and this will show up. So if we add guests over here on the right hand side, maybe I'm gonna add this contact email, and we start to add our guests, these guests will then get sent the invite unless you wanna send it differently, and I'll show you what I mean. At the bottom, you can adjust guest permissions. Can they modify it, invite others, or see the guest list? So check mark those. And then we're gonna hit save, and it's gonna pop up and ask us, do we wanna send an invite email to those guests? You don't have to send it automatically. I'm gonna go ahead and send this and show you different ways you can send the email invite. In this case, we'll see what this email looks like, and there's another way that you can invite people, and even a third way. So let's go ahead and send this email and we'll see what that email looks like here in a second compared to other emails that you can send. So if you actually don't wanna send it from the calendar and you wanna send your own email, then you could just set up that meeting and you could have said, don't send, right? And so when you don't send, you can actually click email guests right here. And here you can email and also send a copy to yourself in case you're confused if you get one. You can uncheck that, but you can send an email to guests or add in other guests here and add a message here. So this is a message with details, right? Okay. And that's going to go to this contact one, which is the same one we had Google automatically send an invite to. I'm not going to send a copy to myself and then you can click send and you can also click, uh, or you can also send this to anybody who hasn't responded yet but we're gonna click send on this one. So I'm just gonna load up that other email with a bunch of messages so that we can see the difference in how you send these. The last way that you can do this is, we're gonna click on this meeting again, and there's a new invite via link button. And so if we click on that, we can actually invite someone with a link on our own. And so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link right here, and it's a link to the meeting. And then we can go write our own email. So over here, I'm gonna X out a calendar. This is my Gmail tab, this is my calendar tab. So going back to Gmail tab, I have that link copied. I'm gonna compose a message. We'll compose it to the same person here, even though they're already invited. I just wanna show you how these emails look different. And so we're gonna go uh, meeting invite on the subject and uh, click here to join, right? Something like that. And so that's a link in there of the meeting invite. We're gonna send that to that same address. Let's go take a look at all three of those different ways to email a calendar invite. So we're gonna switch accounts here really quick, or in this case, I'm gonna add account apparently. Thought I could just switch it, but we'll log in with that other email. 
and I'll show you guys what all of these different emails look like so you can pick the best one for yourself. And after we log in here, it's gonna show all three of those emails, right? So this first one is the automated, like I saved, I invited everyone to the calendar invite and then Google asked, do you wanna send an email? So we can click on this one. This is what they would see. They would see this block at the top that shows the meeting, uh, the time of the meeting. They can go ahead and RSVP or click on more options and kind of adjust. Uh, down here, you'll see some of the things that we typed in uh, to the details of the meeting. So this is where you could put messaging, but it's kind of hidden. This isn't really an email, right? It's just the calendar invite, and it's not like a personalized email that you could write your own message independently to that person. They'll just see the meeting details that everyone sees when they get this invite. So that's what this email looks like when you choose to send or not send the calendar invite directly after setting up the meeting. So we go back to the inbox. The second one here was when we go back into the meeting and we decide to email the guests. So let's say we elected not to send this first one and we wanted to send our own message. We go back into the calendar invite, click email guests, and this is what that one looks like. If you remember, I typed in, this is the message with details, so that you can actually type your own email message when you email your guests, and then it attaches the meeting details down here where you can join, there's a link, and it also has those, literally those meeting details that we filled in on the meeting itself. This is a pretty good one, I think, because it still has this block here at the bottom, and you also can customize this message and send that to whoever you want directly from that calendar invite and include the invite and calendar details here. Now the last way, we remember we copied the link. This one doesn't show those blocks. So we go in here, it literally is just the link. Now, if that's what you wanna send, then you can totally do that. And then this person can click the link and it will open up their calendar and they could uh, say yes, no, or maybe, and they can see all the details of that meeting and any of these invites will add it to their calendar as well no matter how they kind of click through and so there's about three different methods that you can really send calendar invites and so depending on how you want to customize that invite and how you want that messaging to look you'll kind of be able to see those different ways here uh, at least before you actually send them um, so that you can choose maybe I want to actually write a message to my guests and then have the meeting details below it or maybe you actually just want to send that meeting invite uh, without actually you know, having all the blocks in your email. You just kind of want to give them a link and let them click through to that landing page. Now, the last thing here is if you do add more guests to the meeting, so we'll click into the meeting. I've got two guests at the top. We have to edit the event. I'm going to add in another person here. And when I add that guest and go save, it's going to ask me if I want to send an invite email to the new guests. So that same original email that just has the blocks, um, you can send that to any new guest that you add or elect not to send it and then go pick one of your other methods. But yeah, that's basically how you can send calendar invites here in Gmail.